Hi friends, today we are going to talk about four very important transaction code and we want to make sure that we can default their layout. So first one we are going to talk about is FBL1N. Okay, so if I go to FBL1N and if you see this is a transaction that most of the accounts people person or anyone related with vendor payment and all those things you all use so here is a layout so if you want to default the layout there is a way every time you go here you want to see this layout defaulted so how, what is the trick so in order to get in order to get to it we have to we go to this transaction okay so what the trick is we'll just we'll just check uh, this we'll just copy this okay control y control c we will just uh, create a new session provided i have enough session maximum number reached so i will go here okay and here i will just put su3 okay and here see came here and we are now in parameters okay so now I will add this value and I'll just put uh, test okay so I'll put test and we'll save it so now when I have saved it okay now what we are going to do is we are going to see what really happened in that transaction code. so again we'll go there i'll go outside i'll go fpl one in and we should see the test see the system so this was one for test only for one fpl one in. okay now we were going to do the same for fpl 3 so let me first go back okay and i'll go fpl 3 n and I press enter okay and here you can see the layout is not there okay so now we are going to do the default there also okay we will put su3 and we go into parameters and what I'm going to do is we are going to add one okay let me go to the other page where I have the number it's F I T A L V underscore G L. So let me copy it. Control Y, Control C, and I go here, and I will do the same. I'll do test. Save it. Next time, go to the other transaction. I click on slash and F P L three N. And we want to see the magic test show. Yes, it's test now. Now, what is left? We are going to do FPL 5N now. Okay. FPL 5N. And we want to see what I can do. This one is blank. So, again, what I'm going to do is I'll go here. I'll try to get the, the name F I T A L V underscore T R A R. Okay. So I copy this now. I go to SU3, go to parameters. Same thing. I'll just put test. SD, save it. Now, oops. Okay, now I'll go here, slash NFBL5N, press enter, and you can see test. Now another piece that we are going to do is, this is a new one for, um, for HANA, is FADLL03. Okay, we will default this one also. So I'll just execute. I'll just show. Okay, 
here it's blank the layout okay now our target is the other one so what we are going to do is we are going to take this control y control c copy go to su3 and we go to parameters and we populate this and we say test save it right now we go to this transaction we hit the back button okay i'm just executing the transaction through se 90, 93 okay and execute now you see this so this covers everything that where you can default the layout so that there's lots of confusion you can personalize your stuff that shows in the output no one can manipulate it it's really helpful and i covered the most four very most important transaction that covers fi accounts payable that is vendor and customer okay so stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great day